Pisces, 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 welcome and hello. My name is Sarita, the creator of naturallyhighlife.com, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of October 2015. I did a five card reading for you for this particular month, and we're going to go ahead and dive right in, okay? So the first card that came up for you is the card, this one. The King of Wands. It's in the past position. So it's talking about something that happened in the past for you. And it's reversed. So it's done. It's already over with. You could see the energies now cycling through, passing through your life. And really, as Mercury Retrograde is going on right now, but by the time you get this, it's going to be almost over on September the 9th. So, basically, the lesson that you needed to go back and learn from someone is definitely has taught you some lessons about yourself and how you can better love yourself and not overgive and overdo and overcompensate. Because this coming up shows that there was probably somebody very powerful that came into your life and a fire sign type of person. And this person may have come in to your life and offered a lot of fast talking, a lot of promises, and it, from it being reversed, that person may not have delivered or kept their word. And um, they may have taken you for granted. Somebody may have taken you for granted. And if this person isn't a fire sign, this could be their moon, sun, or rising sign, or the person just could have a fiery personality, you know. So it's showing, though, someone, this person, it could be someone of authority, also a boss, someone like that, a boss, authority figure, someone like that. For some of you, it could be your husband or your wife, could be a man or a woman. But this person is not, they have things to work on. They do require your patience if you're going to be there with and for them, but they are showing up in the past position. So it shows that certain behaviors that they have been doing are stopping or they're on the way out or you're able to deal with them in a different way and it's helping you along, definitely. I also see that it's helping you along because even though this is reversed and so is the the Seven of Wands, which is your next card. This card here is in the past position, okay? The King of Wands is in the past position, but then we have the Seven of Wands coming up, and this is representing you, and this is talking about the present. So it's reversed, so it's showing that you are no longer fighting with this person, okay? You are no longer fighting with this person right here. That energy is passing through. It's pretty much, I would say, damn near over. And you are definitely happy about that, aren't you? <laughs> this could definitely have to do with some favoritism being shown on the job. In efforts to start a business, also, that may not have worked out with you partnering with someone else. Okay, so what I'm looking at here next is what to avoid. What to avoid is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords are showing that, you know, it has to do with the mind. It has to do with your mindset and does have to do with basically air and, and moving at a very fast speed. It's basically talking about to avoid this type of energy during the month, positively, this person would have thought about something and then they went and did it. But when you have it like this, doing things without thinking them over, making very fast, brass, um, fast, abrupt movements, moving and taking action as a result of what somebody else said or doing things based off of what somebody else said that you, you should or could do, not doing your own research. And I see this card, I'm thinking of research. Someone doing their own research and then taking action on base based off of what has come up. 
The other thing with this card coming up in the straight position is also showing that things are moving. But when it's reversed, they're not moving. And that's three cards reversed, so there's a feeling of blockages, a feeling of things not moving along. Could be a huge challenge in your life right now, but I'm here to tell you to keep listening because it does get good. It is going to get good in October for you. You are just leaving the beginning of the month of some difficult energies, which may or may not be for you. Maybe somebody else is dealing with it, may not be you, but here. Let me talk about the next card that's coming up. So, yeah, moving too fast is going to prove to be not so good with planning out what it is that you are looking to do. And I want to say that. I'm saying that again because here it shows you have had to basically fight people off with a stick. You are having to... Uh, you're being a pioneer in something that you're doing. It's not going to be understood by everyone. You're going to have to take the leap and know that it's going to work out. And other people may not agree with it, but who cares, right? Because it's yours and um, it's your dream, your thing. Make it. Make it happen. Do you. And this is your attitude right now. You're like, I'm done with fighting with you all about this. I have made a choice and I'm moving forward and bump you if you don't understand it. And it's basically, yeah, what to avoid. What to avoid is don't stop moving forward. Don't stop moving forward. Keep moving forward. And why? Because it's good. It's very good for you to keep doing that. Ignore these people who are down here with this sort of energy. Because really your breakthrough has to do with yourself. It doesn't have to do with anyone else. This is your thing, your life, your life path, your, your understanding, your, the clarity that you're coming to is all on you. The other thing that is working for you is that you are definitely not feeling, you're not feeling as much. You're able to get into work and just be focused on work you're able to be focused so yeah avoid these energies where you just get caught up here procrastinating and thinking and milling things over and analyzing over and over again and in trying to make your point to others or trying to explain yourself explain why you do what you do how you do your thing it's a very simple thing they're talking about, too. But this also has to do with the way that you just present yourself. It's not, it's, it's a waste of time to sit there and try to explain yourself to people who, especially those who have been there around you, who know you, who just want to play mind games or push your buttons. Good. Ignore them. Keep it moving. Turn it around. Move forward. So it's upside down. This is what to avoid. So it's telling you, move forward. Keep going. Keep going forward. The next card coming up is in the health position. And it's about your current state of emotional health. And I was looking at your cards, and I don't see a lot of water in them. And so it's showing me why that is. And it's because of this. You've come to an understanding clearly that your emotional health is very important. Emotional balance is key for you to be able to be successful in the world according to how you want to be. It's also showing that some of you had just had a child. You are becoming closer to your children. You're definitely coming into your own. The maturity that you feel about yourself is definitely heightened. And the 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 connections that you've been making as far as your networks, they have proved to be very stimulating for you. You are having more fun. You're getting up. You're get up and go. Your energy is up. And so your health is improved because you're not sitting around um, 
being depressed. You're letting things roll off. It took time to get there, yes, but you're stronger now. You're stronger from what you've gone through, all this obstruction from the past, dealing with these people, you know, with their bullshit, you know. <laughs> you're now moving forward. You're doing well, and having fun is working for you, balancing. You, you've been doing a balancing act, a juggling act. Often before, it felt like you were on a merry-go-round, you know, up and down, up and down. Things are more balanced now. Your reminder is to keep moving forward. Don't stop. Keep moving forward. Because your health has improved, your health is improving, and this is about your current state of health. Your current state of physical and emotional health is improved. So you're probably getting out, working out, doing something that requires you to be, and I'm seeing you all drinking your water. I'm seeing you balancing the amount of, of different things that you eat or whatever. What you eat, you're balancing it. Whether you be a curvy one or you're skinny or uh, average size or whatever you're doing, what works for you? You're caring less about what other people think, your confidence. Look at you shining. Is your, your confidence is shining. It's shining through. So all opportunities are a go. All opportunities are a go. Listen to your sun and your moon and your rising sign. I heard very strongly to do that. Also, it doesn't stop there with the positive messages. You had the past being crappy, dealing with people with their stuff. But look, need we say more? When you have the sun card and you have the sun and the world card next to each other, I mean, it doesn't really even get any better than that. The health, the health of the relationship. It's improved. I see two people, two people kind of rekindling their love. Restored health in both people. They're doing something that has to do with improving themselves so they're able to love each other better. Good stuff. This is a positive influence as the position it's in. So this is talking about emotions and conditions concerning your life and things that are contributing to your life overall. This is the outcome card also. And it's not even the final outcome card. I even have one for you after this, an angel card. But your final outcome for what's going on in October is the sun card. So you gradually moved on up. Now, the other cards talked about the past. It was reversed, and it talked about you, what you've been through in the past. You've been, you know, dealing with that stuff, and then what to avoid. So those were basically warnings and showing you what was in the past. This is the present. This is the positive influences. The last card was the health, the health of a situation, the health of a matter. The result of you doing what you know you need to do for you is the result of this sun card. So definitely since we have new planetary alignments now, you've gone through, you're going through Mercury retrograde, you've revisited some things, you've re-looked at some things, you've redone some things, you've revisited certain projects and gave them your attention. Now you feel more confident, more inspired. And they're saying that you have not been doing overdoing it. They're saying you could not overdo it right now because you have the energy and the vitality to carry it out. So go ahead and do it while you have it. It's good. So soon after the ninth, new projects, you'll be working on those. But in the meanwhile, continuing and, and furthering the stuff you've already been working on is a great time to do that for yourself with the sun card, definitely. Reuniting with your passion and whatever has been bad in the past, that's in the past. It's a new day now. It's a new day today. It's a good time to be encouraged. Also, your final outcome card is Archangel Raphael's Earth Force card. I see this. What I see is something very easy to do. It has to do with grounding. It has to do with connecting to other people. It has to do with networking. It has to do with earth, you know, bringing the earth element, maybe bringing it home with you, maybe taking yourself out and being sitting by the water. You know, it could be sitting in the park, could be doing some of that type of stuff. 
and childhood stuff. If you had some things, some things from your past with a past lover who was full of crap, you're now, you're, you're moving forward and you have the support of the universe behind you, on the side of you, on the other side of you, all around you. So remember that when you feel down, even if it's for a second, the positive influences are there. So it's not going to last long. You're bouncing right out of it. Get you some, you know, continue doing your yoga, continue doing your exercise, continue dancing, continue loving on yourself. Okay, those things are going to bring you to an even greater fulfillment. And also writing down what it is that you want, writing down that list carefully looking at in your mind what you want and and taking note of it so that's your reading thank you so much call the angels guides ancestors work on those chakras and we'll talk to you very soon thank you so much for listening my name is sarita with naturally high life peace love and light to you